Hi everyone, this is Lauren Kerpieski doing my screencast for EDU 618. Um, I decided to do my screencast on Evernote. Um, it is one of my favorite tools to use to organize myself um, in my life and more and more in my classwork. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about it and um, give you guys an idea of how it could uh, relate to uh, the classroom and keeping yourself organized first and foremost um, when uh, doing your preparation for class. Uh, so this is the Evernote homepage um, and its uh, I guess slogan is uh, remember everything and it is completely true um, that it allows you to to remember basically anything you come across. Um, you can do that in a variety of ways. Um, there are there's a um, an application that you can download onto your computer. I have it on every computer I own. There's also um, the web-based app that you can log into from the website. Um, I have Evernote on my iPhone, um, and there's also these uh, clippers in the up in the top corner at least of uh, Google Chrome, and which is what I'm using, and um, of quite a few other different um, browsers you can use. Um, you can download these little clippers and it will make it very easy for you to clip something right to Evernote um, and, you know, not have to worry about, you know, doing it later or, or wasting any time in the process. Um, so basically what Evernote is, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but it is a um, place where you can store everything that you, that you need access to at any given time. Um, whether it's PDFs, um, pictures, um, handwritten notes that you can scan and submit, um, recipes, any anything that you can get your hands on uh, digitally, you can basically upload it into Evernote. Um, once it's uploaded, you can access that information from anywhere. See, access anywhere. Uh, works with nearly every computer. Um, and it gives you all of the features that you would expect, like tags, um, folders, organizational settings, um, things like that. It gives you the ability to share uh, notebooks that you create uh, with other people um, and gives them a chance you can you can share something with them and uh, enable them to collaborate on that notebook. Uh, so it's a great way to to uh, you know get across information to multiple people and and create sort of a, a group environment. Um, I'm going to show you um, my Evernote on my homepage, or excuse me, on my uh, on my site here, or excuse me, on my desktop. Duh. Um, I have use it. I use it for everything. Um, but I'm going to show you um, my recipes because it gives you a good idea. I'm very into to cooking and baking, so. Um, it gives you a good idea of the types of things you can you can do with with Evernote here. Um, so here are my recipes. As you can see, they're all um, you know organized by date. I've got lots of tags for each one uh, with the ingredients, um, what type of um, you know meal they'd be used for, um, and I can just easily scroll through and see all of the different recipes that I have. Um, I can do a search up here um, if I was searching for one recipe in particular or I can use the tags to 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 figure out um, let's say I'm having a um, uh, people over for breakfast. I'm having a breakfast and uh, I wanted to make something special. Well I can just go to under tags I can go to breakfast and all of my breakfast things come up. So I can see, oh, well, this would be good for breakfast or brunch or dessert, uh, you know, if you were so inclined. Um, you know, and it looks amazing. And there's the, the recipe in its entirety. Um, and how I did that 
was I went, let's say, I went, let's say I am online looking at some, some recipe pages or, or something like that. And I am interested, whoops, wrong one. I am interested in a uh, an infographic that I found, and I recently closed out of the tab, but let me get back into it. Um, let me see. So I think it was, oh, it was this one. Hold on one minute. Yes. So I was on a grammar website, grammar.net. And I was interested in the uh, just a piece of information that was on this page. Yes, you can enter your text for grammar and checking, but that's not really what I'm I'm truly interested in. If I scroll down, now if I can, there we go. I'm interested in this little infographic here. Ten tips to improve your grammar. I think it might be helpful for my future students. Uh, to have this information or for me to, you know, have it readily available. Uh, so what I do is, let me just fix this, there we go, so you can see the little clipper and I want, I want to clip this information and add it to my Evernote. So what I'll do is I'll hit that little button and it will synchronize, of course, because it always keeps everything in sync. Uh, you'll have the the title. Um, it'll ask you where you want to put it, whether it be your inbox or you know. I'm just going to put it in my inbox for now. You can add tags. So let's say, yeah, and grammar. And oops, let me try that again. Sorry, I just totally, totally spaced on that one. Um, so let's say grammar. Uh, education. How do you spell education? A D U C A T I O N. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm I want to not just I don't want to clip the article. I just want that little piece. So you have your choice of clipping the article, clipping the full page, or clipping the URL. I want to clip just that information. So what I can do is I can use my arrow buttons on here. Right to figure out exactly how much I would like to clip, and it will highlight itself. So ooh, uh, I'm gonna get this right. I will. So let me try this again. Yet. It's not. I just want that. So it includes the graphic. It includes a little bit about it and I don't get all any of these ads or anything I can just remove them entirely and then I just hit, hit clip article so then what I would do is I would go in and I would sync oh and there it is it says clipped you can not see it but it says clipped to Evernote I can go in to my Evernote and I can sync and whenever I sync it syncs everything I see that I have two new downloads and they would be the first one and the second one that I tried to do. There you go. So you can see that it just clipped it. There are my tags already in there. And anytime I need to search for anything, it will automatically come up. I also, um, just a quick note, um, it does a fantastic job of clipping, um, or excuse me, uh, recognizing your handwriting. So if you scanned in um, any handwritten notes that you had, um, it would be very easy for you to just do a search and come up with those. Um, and and it would be really easy for you to stay organized and, and keep track of everything. Ways that this can relate to the classroom, um, it can help you not only um, before class, but also during class. Uh, before class, it can help you stay organized. Let's say you are teaching um, an English class and you know that you have specific information that you want to cover on week two. So you could go in to Evernote and um, 
if you found some information that you wanted to include on week two, you had some notes that you about week two plans that you wanted to have ready readily available, you could go on to Evernote and you could tag all of, you could make a folder uh, or a notebook for um, you know that particular class and then you could put a tag of week two and then you could easily bring up everything from week two oh, any handwritten notes pictures graphics anything that you needed um, you could also use it uh, to to make a database of um, your academic standards for your class uh, you can even share that with other teachers. Um, they have a you know way that you can you can share and monitor who sees it and all of that information. Um, you can make templates. They have a variety of templates that you can use for assignments um, and for you know for assessments as well. Um, you can use that uh, to keep track of your grading. Um, you can even prepare for your absence. Let's say you know you're going to be out um, for a uh, funeral. Um, you can share. You can share your class notes and your um, your daily lesson plan uh, through Evernote with your teacher that's going to be subbing for you. Um, in class, um, a great way uh, that you could have your students integrate Evernote into their their classroom is um, they could take uh, you know, photos of the whiteboards, um, those, you know, whatever's written on the whiteboard would be easily searchable through Evernote. Um, you could uh, keep your handouts in Evernote, that way they're always handy no matter where you are. You could print them um, from whatever computer and you don't need to carry around your laptop. Um, you can scan in the students' work, uh, their graded work, keep track of it with tags, you know, by student. Um, per you know for each class you're in and um, just basically keep track of everything um, that that you need uh, to stay organized uh, to have everything handy in any location um, it's a great you know sort of cloud based uh, system that that I use um, and that I think would be really helpful for keeping everything organized for for the classroom um, in class and for teachers um, in class. It would also be a great collaborative tool uh, for group projects, um, people doing research. They could, um, you know, everybody could have access to one notebook and they could just keep tagging things and pulling things off the off the internet um, as a way to, uh, to, to gather all their information and resources. And then they could even collaborate on the on the paper itself or, or the project itself. Uh, by having it on Evernote. Um, so that is uh, my my presentation on Evernote. It's a fantastic um, way to keep yourself organized and it uh, works well with a lot of other apps like I have uh, an app on my phone, JotNot. Um, it is a way for it's basically a scanner but you can take a picture what you do is you take a picture with your phone and you can resize the picture and it clarifies it um, so if you take a picture of a note that you wrote it clarifies the writing and then I can jot not works perfectly seamlessly with Evernote I can then upload it to Evernote and um, you know, and then easily search for it. So I can do that with any sort of material, any sort of contract or anything that I come across if, if I want to automatically put it in Evernote. It becomes second nature after a while. Um, so that is that, and I hope you, got you guys enjoyed my screencast, and uh, I will see you or talk to you or hear from you later.